Hello, good friends. Thank you once again for joining me on this beautiful February day. Believe it or not, it's about 60 degrees. Uh, so I figure what a better opportunity than to do some maintenance on the smoker. In particular, my grates. Um, they've been, as you can see, they're not in really good shape. Um, it started with when I first got my rock about a year ago. Uh, I made the mistake of placing it directly on my grates and I guess the moisture from that started to rust and along with forgetting to put in the cover on the grill um, and you get rain and moisture is not good for these metals so as you can tell they're not in good shape uh, I've been meaning to get to this for quite some time but like I said it's time to what better day than we got this beautiful weather so I'm gonna try to get these things back into shape um, by using a wire wheel and simply basically uh, resurfacing the whole entire grate and coating it in oil and then we're going to use the smoker to bake it in so hopefully we can resurface these and get them back to looking new well that'll start it won't look new right off the bat we're going to have to start a whole seasoning process over again and, and then they will turn to black again okay so uh, I'm going to get my wire wheel set up and we'll start polishing these things down. Alright, so like I said, I have a wire wheel uh, and a power drill and then hopefully we can just, uh, we'll be able to remove the surface rust off the grates. So that's what we're going to attempt now. Alright, so after about 10 minutes or so with the wire wheel, this is what it looks like, and that's about what the other one looked like. So that's the comparison there. I uh, got most of the surface rust off of it, and this one's be ready to be oiled up, so I gotta do this one plus another one. So uh, we'll get all these cleaned up, and then before we oil them, we'll come right back. Okay, we got all three grates uh, ready to be oiled, and I'm just gonna use canola oil with a brush and it's that simple just gonna brush it in uh, pretty heavy like I said we're, re we're pretty much uh, doing the whole seasoning process over again so we want to make sure we got a lot of oil on there when we bake it in when we're baking it in or at least put a, a lot now and then we're gonna wipe it down before we don't want it really dripping when we go into the smoker something like this. I'm just going to cover the whole grate. And then flip it over and do the other side. We'll do all three pretty much just like that. And we'll come back when we're ready to go into the heat. Alright, so we got all three grates uh, oiled up pretty well. And I already have the smoker fired up. Got us a pork tenderloin going in there. So I was going to use the opportunity to try to re-season these grates. Uh, I've been putting it off for a while and they were in bad shape. But just just um, using a wire wheel and oiling them up, they, it almost turned it back to a usable state again. Actually, put this over here. So that's that. I can close it down. And it'll let it'll bake that oil on there, and it already looks really great. This one, 
needs uh, just a small couple of spots, but I didn't do this one today because I needed a place to put the loin. All right, so we'll do that one another day. That's not that big of a deal, but those three were looking pretty rough. Uh, sorry I didn't bring you along for the loin, but this was kind of a last minute deal. It's late. That's what's for supper tonight. It was gonna be really quick, but I just wanted to show you um, the reseasoning of the grates and it almost turned it into brand new again. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it down. We're gonna bake it in for a few hours or as long as the loin's gonna So once that's done, we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, folks, so it's actually the next morning. Um, I let it go for quite a few hours at about 300 degrees or so after we got the pork loin done. As you can see, man, they turned almost, they're brand new again looks really 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 good I'm really pleased with that you can see this is the one grate we didn't do um, that we had the pork loin on and it has one little rough spot there that's why I really wasn't as worried about that that'd be a quick fix I probably won't even have to redo this whole grate but you can see the drastic difference and I'm really pleased with that it turned out really 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 well uh, but I just wanted to show you a quick fix for these cast iron um, grates here. Didn't have to use any lye soak or anything like that. Just a quick wire brush, remove some surface rust, re-oil it, and then back into the heat uh, for seasoning. So that's that. Thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do a cook video today and hopefully we'll have that up in a few days. So be on the lookout. Thanks for watching.